Good evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days, today's broadcast. The stability of the Middle East is possible only with the restoration of Western Armenia, Prime Minister of Western Armenia. Monument to the memory of genocide against Armenians will be opened in Vesteras. Rebels agree to open first crossing to Aleppo city. Turkey will not allow Istanbul to transform into Constantinople, Erdogan. The denialism is a part of genocide, author of the Sin of the Father's book on Turkey's policy. According to the Prime Minister of Western Armenia, Garnik Sarkisyan, their goal is to implement the arbitral award of Woodrow Wilson and the points included in the Treaty of Severus, which will bring to the solution of the problems of all Armenians, like the genocide against Armenians, the Western Armenia, the security of the Republic of Armenia, the Artsakh issue, and Javak. As mentioned Garnik Sarkisyan, the stability and the peace of the Middle East is possible only with the restoration of Western Armenia. He emphasized, Armenians are not limited with Eastern Armenia, which has Caucasian geopolitical character. We must take into consideration the Armenian state, the state of Armenia that is one of the main components in the Middle East. Today, only the restoration of Western Armenia makes it possible to spread peace and stability in the Middle East. In the Vesteros city in Sweden, a monument to the memory of Armenians and Assyrians who died during the genocide of 1915 will be set up. The issue of monument installation was discussed by the municipality. The Christian People's Party has represented a draft to the municipality administration, according to which they want to install a monument dedicated to the memory of victims of 1915. However, the church gave a positive answer to the memorial dedicated to the victims of the genocide against Armenians. They are reminded that investors are living many people whose relatives died during the genocide. In 2010, the Swedish parliament has recognized that genocide committed against Armenians, Assyrians and Pontic Greeks, but the government and subsequent power of that time did not fulfill the decision. Armenian and Assyrian institutions and organizations raised the issue of every possible occasion and demanding the implementation of the decision. The Syrian Arab Army and Free Syrian Army have agreed to open a new civilian crossing that links Aleppo city and the nearby town of Al-Bab. According to a new report from East Aleppo, the Free Syrian Army and the Syrian Arab Army will allow civilians access to the Abu al zandan crossing. This is an imperative move by both the Free Syrian Army and the Syrian Arab Army, as this will allow civilians to resume trade and commerce between government and opposition areas. The crossing will also be monitored by the Russian and Turkish armed forces that are currently present in the al Bab area. Before the start of the Syrian conflict, Aleppo was not only Syria's largest city, but also the country's economic center. Restoring Aleppo as the Syria's economic capital will not only stimulate the economy, but will also help promote the return of civilians to northern Syria. The Turkish people will not allow Istanbul to become Constantinople, President Recep Tayyip Erdogan said on Monday in reference to the city former Christian name, which was reportedly referenced by the attacker who recently carried out an act of terrorism on two mosques in New Zealand. The terrorist attack in New Zealand is a signal from certain circles addressed to Turkey. The enemies of Muslims have shown that they continue to hate us. We are ready to resist and speak loudly about it in Çanakkale. Turkish people will always live on these lands. They will not allow Istanbul to be turned into Constantinople. He said while speaking in the northwestern city of Çanakkale, which marked the 104th anniversary of the Turkish troops' victory. New Zealand was rocked by two consecutive terrorist mass shootings at Al Nur Mosque and the Linwood Islamic Center. The tragedy left 50 people dead and 50 more injured. The New Zealand attack suspect, who was immediately detained, has been identified as Brenton Tarrant, a resident of New Zealand, Dunedin City. Tarrant recorded his views in a manifesto in which he expressed strong anti migrant and anti Muslim sentiments. He reportedly promised to make Constantinople rightfully Christian in an open threat to the city's Muslim population. Tarrant emailed his manifesto to several people minutes before the attack. New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern, who has dubbed the tragedy a terrorist act and the country's darkest day, was one of the recipients of the document. 
The sins of the father's book proves that the genocide against Armenians and others committed by young Turks and is denied by Turkey are almost the same criminal acts. Siopan Nesh Marshall, author of the book, professor at the New York Manhattanville College, introduced her book during a discussion in the Armenian Genocide Museum Institute in Yerevan. This book is a philosophy and history. I think that Turkey's denialism and the genocide are the same. I knew about the genocide against Armenians when I was a child. We need to remember it. The fact that the genocide has been committed is not a question. The question is why it was committed and why it is being denied. This is what my book is about. Denialism is a part of genocide. Turks deny the genocide. It means they continue this. People who think that denialism and genocide are different, they are mistaken, the professor mentioned. Siopan Nash Marshall mentioned that she wants to show why American Europe should accept the truth. Europe knew 40 years ago that the genocide could take place and did nothing except for fighting cooperation ways. Everything was left on the paper, the author of the book said. She noted that the Western Armenia on the map was called Western Armenia before the World War II. Siopan Nash Marshall said no matter how much Turkey would like to call it Eastern Anatolia, we all know that it was called Armenia. We'll never question this. For me, the question is why it is being denied, and it's very difficult to answer to the question, she said. Siopan Nash Marshall also learned speaking in Armenian, says it's very beautiful language. The presentation of the book, The Sin of the Fathers, was was also held in Artsakh autumn of 2018. Now let us represent to your attention a song by Susanna Siradevian. <laughs> You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.